Now it's my turn. I cut in line. Uh, there was a, a, an announcement I was supposed to make at the beginning of the service, which I did not, and now Mark is going, now she remembers. Uh, last week, you may have noticed a, a bit of a, a wobble in our live stream. We had some router problems here at the church. Those have been replaced, but um, it is possible that that will happen every now and then, internet being what it is. Um, if that happens, you can watch later uh, an edited version of each service, which is put up alongside the live version. Um, and that's, that's a bit polished up, and, and the, the wobbly bits are taken out. And uh, so that is available for you. And just, just know that if we have an interruption as we live stream, we're on it. Uh, we're doing the best we can with what we've got, and we are making sure we've got the best we can. So... Uh, you mentioned Shepherd's Supper. We served 134 people at Shepherd's Supper this week. That is a lot of folks. That is a lot of folks who are having, um, that represents a, a community full of folks who are having trouble making ends meet, uh, folks who don't have enough to eat for the week, um, folks who are facing eviction from their apartments and are terrified about that, folks who have lost their jobs, um, and folks who just want to come and have dinner and see other people, even if it's just in the parking lot while they're picking up their food. So um, please, please continue in prayer for that ministry, for that work of community and feeding and offering hope uh, to our neighborhood. We encourage you to keep watching your email and the website and Facebook for updates and information. Um, if you're not on our email list, you can... Sign up on the website or call the office and Maureen will add you. Our Monday evening book study gathers again tomorrow night via Zoom. Uh, we're continuing our six-week study on Sarah Bessie's Out of Sorts, um, which is quickly well-liked by most people in the study, so that's good. Our soul care offerings continue at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays via Zoom, and again, you can get that information from the office and there are two events coming up. Uh, the first is the Clothing Center Bazaar on July 25th. It's Saturday from 11 to 2. If you want to come and shop the bazaar, you need to call and make an appointment to come because we are doing this with every possible COVID precaution we can take. We also need volunteers for a little while or a lot of while. Um, if you can spare some time to help make this event happen, you, we are taking precautions for our staffing as well, so uh, masks and, and distance and all of that will be happening. So if you can spare some time to help with this, please call the office as soon as possible and, and let us put you in a time slot for that. Did you have anything to add about that? If you are not available, if you're not available on the 25th and you'd still like to help, during next week we're going to have several slots open for you to come and help sort clothes in the church building. It's going to be a little bit cooler because um, we're going to be down in the fellowship hall. So call the church. It's Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. We will have afternoon slots available. If you'd rather come and do that, then come on the Saturday event or if your schedule does. So there are lots of opportunities to help this week. We're making sure we space people out, have just a few people for each time slot. We, um, and we're expecting quite a turnout that we're going to have to manage, and we will be very careful about that. Also, upcoming on Saturday, August 1st, Sharon Carmine has given me an announcement to read this morning about the United Methodist Women Garden Tour. That is still happening. It will um, be from 11 to 3 on Saturday the 1st. There will be six gardens to visit, um, all at social distance and all with your mask on. And there will be a plant sale and other garden-themed items at one of the homes so uh, you have the opportunity to purchase. Helpers are needed to take tickets and to help maintain social distancing. Like I said, masks will be required and group sizes will be maintained. So there won't be any more than 10 people in a garden at a time. Tickets are available by calling Sharon Carmine. If you have a directory, you have her number or um, you can call the office to get connected with her and you can reserve those tickets for pickup that day or you can pick them up now. They're $15 each and if you would like to help out at one of the homes or, or whatever, please call Sharon. She will eagerly take your, your offer of assistance. So 
um, that is coming right up as well. And, you know, while the heat may be awful for us right now, the gardens are loving it this year. It's, it's a beautiful garden year. So these six persons who have opened up their gardens for touring, um, thank you to you, and um, I am sure it will be spectacular 